Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about some makeup brands that I really want to try in 2022. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. Okay, so I did do this video last year as well, five brands I wanted to try in 2021. We are going to revisit those in another video, but I thought that I would talk about the brands that I intend to try this year first. So let's just get right into it. So the very first brand I want to try in 2022 is Wayne Goss. So I'm a big fan of Wayne as a makeup artist, as a YouTuber. I just really, I really just like him in general a lot. Uh, I think he's incredibly talented and I learn so much from him, but I've never tried his makeup for some reason. Well, I know the reason, it's very expensive, but I'm interested in trying one of his eyeshadow palettes. I also wanna try one of his, some of his brushes. I've heard he's got great brushes. Uh, maybe some lip products. I'm not sure. I just really really want to try something from his brand and I I really do you're gonna see from my list I really do have a soft spot in my heart for high-end luxury makeup. I just do I do try to dabble in the drugstore, but I really have that soft spot for the high-end so you are gonna notice that on this list, but I really really want to try some Wayne Goss this year. And talking about high end, I also want to try some Armani Beauty this year. Mostly just the Lumina Silk Foundation. <laughs> that's the main one I want to try. Uh, that's another brand. They just have really, really expensive makeup, so I haven't tried it, but I've heard really good things about their foundation. Pretty sure I've heard really great things about their concealer as well. Uh, their Lip Maestros, I've heard really great things about, so I'm definitely curious about that one. Those are products that are going to have to be picked up during a Sephora sale, but I'm definitely curious about the brand. Uh, okay, another brand I'm curious to try out is RCMA. So this is definitely more of a pro makeup brand, and they have a foundation. I believe they released it this year or last year. I don't remember, but Tati actually reviewed it this year, and she loved it absolutely loved it so now I'm um, you know I've got that itch to try it I've had that itch to try their brand for a while for a long time I was looking at their big uh, foundation palettes that you could also use for concealing and contour I was looking at those for a while but then they released the foundation this year and I really 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 want to try it it just sounds so good to me I am really anxious to try that okay the next brand I want to try this year is BK Beauty so BK Beauty was founded by Lisa J, if you didn't know that already. I love Lisa J. She just has the best personality. She seems like the sweetest human. And she used to be a makeup artist for MAC, and now she runs BK Beauty. She has her YouTube channel, and her YouTube channel really focuses on teaching makeup. And I learn so much from her. She's another one who just teaches me something new every single time I watch her videos. I love, love, love watching her videos. I just love her energy. She's just very calming to watch, but I also, again, I learn so much. So I can't help but wanting to try her brand. I've been dying to try her brushes in particular because I've heard amazing things. I've heard a lot of really great things about them on YouTube and they're just really expensive. So I haven't haven't pulled the trigger on that one yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to in the new year. I'm yeah, I'm pretty certain I'm going to do it. She also has an eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette doesn't call to me so much, but I know she did just release some lipsticks and some lip liners. We know I love lip products, so I'm definitely curious to try those as well, but I'm definitely mostly focused on her brush line. I'm very, very curious about those. Okay, the final brand that I want to try in 2022 is also a makeup brush brand, and that is Ruffer. So, Ruffer focuses, I believe, on natural hair brushes, and I believe it is a Japanese company, and I've heard such amazing things about the company, which is what makes me want to try the brand the most. So this is a brand that's been talked about on YouTube pretty heavy this past year, and again, their brushes are pretty expensive. A lot of the best brushes are, but they do have some really good sales, especially in their concept store online. But... 
a lot of YouTubers are raving about the brushes, are raving about the quality, and I have also been curious to try some natural hair brushes. I have only exclusively synthetic brushes in my collection, so I'm definitely curious about that. But the brand itself, I've just heard really good things. I think it was Morgan Turner. She was kind of raving about them and how they treat her as a creator. And she just said she's always been treated so, so well by them and I, I just really like that and I respect that. Um, also, when Mel Thompson passed away this year, sadly, back in September, there was a GoFundMe for for her family and Refer donated, Refer made a very sizable donation, very huge donation to her GoFundMe and that just says something about how much they value the people. You know, it's not a company that's completely forgotten about the people. And to me, that's a brand I want to support. That's a brand I want to purchase products from. So definitely want to try out Refer this year as well. So that is it. So hopefully I get to try at least one or two of these brands this year. I'd like to try them all, but if not, that's okay. But yeah, those are the five brands that I really want to try out in 2022. Let me know down below if there's any that you would recommend. And that is it for me today. Thank you again so very much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. And that is it for me today. Thank you again so very much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.